This is, uh, yeah, this road is, it's, it's bad. We're back. I'm exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> Man. <laughs> Done. <laughs> They're stalking us. So okay. what's next? Well, through Destruction Bay again. <laughs> That's right, we have to be reunited. Yes, we do. Oh look, Artemis has a buddy. <laughs> the orange Jeep next to Artemis belongs to Lisa and Lyle from Virginia. And we met them in McCarthy. Yep. We also saw them in Valdez. Yes. <laughs> Small world. They're stalking us. Uh, Lisa and Lyle, we hope you are having an awesome time in McCarthy and you're going to have to let us know, did you or did you not take the glacier hike? Oh yeah. The Jeep is connected. Going to head off. I think McCarthy run is officially done. Yay. Yay. Woo. Woo. So okay. what's next? Yeah, from here we head south and we're going to go... Uh, well, through Destruction Bay again. <laughs> <laughs> really? Uh, really? Oh, man, I know. Yeah, we got to do that I'm again. I'm going to stay behind the camera on this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we got to go down through Destruction Bay again because we're heading to Haines. Before we get to Haines, we want to stop for several days at Kluane National Park. I, I used to call it Kluane, but I think I, I heard it was called Kluane. Kluane? Kluane. I don't know. Kluane okay. sounds better, but Kluane. If anybody knows, leave a comment. Yeah, really. But uh, we're going to spend a few days there at the National Park, Lake Kathleen, hopefully, if there's space available. And there's no snow. And then after that, we're going to head to Haines because we got to catch a ferry. Ooh. Yeah. Are you uh, enjoying this road? Oh, this one here? Yes, the one we're on right now. Yes. <laughs> it is so nice. <laughs> it's fully paved and a little smoother much smoother even the little repaired cracks going across the road i don't mind those a <laughs> bit it's a new perspective for you yes i now appreciate these roads more than ever yes <laughs> right somewhere getting so ready right. to blaze new territory new roads for this trip the toke Cut off. That's right. But it's paved. Yes. So I think this is the first new road for this trip we've been on that is paved. Yes. And it's not gravel. But this is only to lead us to Destruction Bay. That's right. The Canadian border and further south. So a little uh, hazy day today it is. and it's too bad because there's not a cloud in the sky no and you've got full view of the mountains yeah and really can't see them too well yeah but we're gonna <laughs> head towards the border man i don't i don't know if we're gonna get to the border today today we might so this sounds really sick i'm actually looking forward to going back down Woo. Uh, back down Destruction Bay Frosty. because after doing Denali, the Dalton, McCarthy, I want to see how bad Destruction Bay really is compared <laughs> to those other roads. That's right. You'll have your hot flash -o meter uh, <laughs> yeah. going on to see. Exactly. Since we might be crossing back into Canada today, uh, how are we doing on stuff that they look at mainly produce and everything um so the two big peas pp uh poultry and uh, produce we're doing well we have no raw produce or no raw poultry at all that's and good and i have just enough produce to make us a salad for lunch today all right and so we timed that really good yes we did excellent all right 
Cool, then we should be clear sailing. We should. I just have to find our Canadian cash. I forgot where I put it. <laughs> oh, that's right. And our passports. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I better get looking for that. So we had a successful uh, stop at Toke. Mm -hmm. We got fuel mm -hmm. and I stuffed it in. You did. Yeah, we dumped. Mm -hmm. So now we're empty and we're full because yeah. I filled up with water. So are you missing Orion's sewer system? Oh yeah, yeah, tremendously, which sounds like a crappy kind of a subject, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I really do the storage, uh, how the hose is, uh, the uh, how it handles. You know, I mean, they both handle stuff, but it just handles it so much nicer. <laughs> You know, I love yeah. the simplicity of this and everything else. I really enjoy. I really like my system in Orion. Picking on some water in Toke, and sometimes you can go back. This water pressure is phenomenal. Oh, is it really? I'm just about actually. I am uh, full. Yeah. Yay. So I gotta shut this off. And uh, we had lunch. And you gave Curiosity a bath oh, while that's I was true. making lunch. Yeah, I did. I gave Curiosity a bath. Yep. So. It's not a thorough bath, but, but it's a good rinse. Good rinse. Right. Our Greek salads are done, and I'm going to go outside and see how David's doing. Looking good. Okay, done. Well, we lunch were, was good. Well, thank you. Got rid of all, almost all of our produce. Yep, in so. preparation for crossing the border, which right. we'll do either today or tomorrow. Right, so we're, we're heading down. We just left Toke, and, but during lunch, we were talking about what our schedule's gonna be like for the next week, and so we're, we don't. Well, she was concerned about how many dry camping days yeah. are we gonna be. And are we gonna have full hookup? And, when, <laughs> and we're gonna go like seven days without fresh produce. <laughs> so that's really what I was asking. And then I was like, well, when are we getting into Haynes? And then, you know, one thing led to another. And are we gonna be in full hookup while we're at Haynes? And you know, just, just FPP for planning purposes. We, that's our acronym. Yep. We got to talking, and then it's like, well, let's so check. We're not making reservations, so when you don't make reservations, it's always a good idea to know what's going on at where you're going. That's right. Are there any special festivals, oh, like, things going on? Yeah, like state fairs. <laughs> so, uh, so while uh, Sandra was finishing up with lunch, um, I went ahead and called and checked online. Well. You know, the day that we were thinking of getting in, which was actually a day earlier than we originally were thinking, yeah. um, it's the last day of the Southeast Alaska <laughs> State Fair. Yeah. <laughs> what do Who you think knew? the chances are that we would get anything? Really? Yeah. Zero. Zero. Get the next day, no problem, and I made those reservations. Yeah. So, it's so now we uh, have an extra day. Yeah, so it's great. So now we don't have to really, we weren't going to push it anyhow. No. But, uh, so now we got an extra day, maybe spend it at the uh, Kluani, Kluane. I don't know. Kluane. I'm not sure. Spend it on the lake. Yeah. And uh, that'll be really nice. So, yeah. So always good to check ahead, even if you're not going to make reservations. Yeah. You know, knowledge is power. Yes, it is. Oh, Here he's leaving me on the side of the road. <laughs> Done. <laughs> I'm panicking. He thinks he uh, might have left the vent open after filling. Uh-oh. He's got some water on his hands. We've got seven days of boondocking. Luckily, the uh, road's not that busy. Well. <laughs> oh, I made it. Yeah. It was uh, closed. Okay. I closed the bed. We need every drop of water. Or, oh, yes. no. It's eight days now. That's right. Eight days of boondocking. Yeah. <laughs> what river? Oh, the, someone took the river sign. <laughs> How are we supposed to know what river this is? It looks like the Mississippi, as muddy as it is. Yeah, it might be the Toke River. So, we were talking uh, a little bit ago about how weird this feels. This feels so weird. We're, we're going south out of Toke. Like, yeah. we're, we're getting like ready we're to leaving. leave. 
leave Alaska. Yeah, well, which we are. Which we are. But we're not at the end of our trip. That's right. But for some reason, because we're <laughs> we're on the Alcan again, heading south, it feels weird. Yeah. Just strange. R really strange. So normally, the last time we were up here, you know, we didn't get back on this road until we were done. Yeah. And uh, so this time we're what halfway done. A little more than halfway. Yeah. Through the trip. Yeah. So. Uh, this is just, yeah, kind of weird, uh, strange, but we have to go to Haines to catch the ferry because they're not doing cross-gulf sailings. No. Yeah, so we get to do Destruction Bay again. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> Here's a little hack. <laughs> One of our dirty little secrets. We actually like it when people pass us, so then we can watch them bounce up and down and tell us where all the bad parts of the road are. This is pretty. Well, this is our view out our front window, which is really Ooh. nice. Come here. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. So you remember in Fairbanks we went to Lowe's mm -hmm. and we got the ice maker. Yes. Because we thought ours was on the fritz. Yes. <sighs> well, the ice dropped again after the second travel day. Oh. Wow, look at all that ice. And is that from the new ice maker? No, that's the original ice maker. So all our right. new process is working. Right, and you do, you've you been doing a good job of keeping it clean and scraping yes. all that stuff off. Yes, making the sure ice. that it was not frozen in there. So it's, it's free now and we're rich with ice now. Oh yeah. You said it was the last time. But you keep coming back to tell me Sorry that you take back All the things you said just to hurt me I love just went cold But I'm still burning I love just went cold Why? I keep on making the same mistake So we have crossed into Canada, but we haven't crossed the border yet. Yes, we have. Well, we have, but not officially, because we got to get through yeah. Beaver Creek, where right. the Canadian Customs is. But we're in Canada, in the Yukon, mm -hmm. and continuing to head south to Haines and our date with a ferry. So we're going to bring you guys along and see where we end up tonight, because we don't know. <laughs> no. We were just having this conversation about where are we? Yeah, we're waiting in line, but we're already in Canada. Yeah. We're in that no man's land between Canada and the U.S. We entered into Canada, and then now we're at Customs. So we're in Canada, but we're not a registered visitor, I guess. That's right. And for 27 kilometers, <laughs> we've been in Canada. So mm -hmm. why don't they just let us through? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we just crossed uh, officially, officially into Canada. That's right. Got they let through us in. <laughs> customs. 
really easy. Uh, he asked us if we had firearms, firearms, uh, ammunition, and cannabis that. products. Yes, that, any, that's a new question. Any cannabis products, right? And then alcohol, yeah, and or tobacco. Mm-hmm. And we said no, but we had. Uh, a couple yeah. bottles of wine we brought up actually from a soyos. Oh, so yes, yes. Asked about uh, our uh, plates, our Montana, our Montana plates, plates yeah. because we're out of Texas, mm-hmm. but uh, we have Montana plates. So we explained that to them about yeah. insurance purposes. Uh, Montana's easier yeah. uh, for how we travel, and that was it. That was it. A nice guy, mm-hmm. and my bonjour must be pretty good because oh. he asked me. Uh, he, uh, he said bonjour, and I said oh bonjour, and he goes. Oh. He starts speaking French to him, and he said pas tu en anglais or français, and I said oh anglais please. <laughs> well, this is a first. So instead of having a flag person, they now have what is that? A stoplight. A stoplight. A flag light. So does that mean that if the flag person was very friendly? And they're right here at the light. That would be like a Bud Light. <laughs> like your buds. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. All right. We finished uh, the drive on Destruction Bay. Yes. Obviously. Yeah. All right. We are coming through the permafrost stabilization project. I don't think it's working too well. No, I'm feeling a little unstable on this road. <laughs> <laughs> Just couldn't help yourself, could you? Couldn't help myself. Uh-huh. Uh, we're here at Congdon Creek. Again. Again. But no snow this time. <laughs> That's right. And we're in the new section. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's really nice. Mm-hmm. And as with all Yukon government campgrounds, Free firewood. Yeah. So we thought we'd take advantage of it, have a little fire, and talk a little bit about uh, this section of Destruction Bay, uh, but differently because we've driven... Dalton up and back. Yep. Denali out out and and back. back. Yep, that's right. And McCarthy... McCarthy out and back. Exactly. So probably, those are probably the three, I'll say, worst traveled roads, generally speaking, in Alaska. Mm-hmm. Everyone talks about Destruction Bay. Oh, and how horrible it is. Yeah, <laughs> on the Alcan and getting up to Alaska. So yeah. we thought we'd kind of briefly compare, since we've now driven all, all four of them. Yeah, all four of them. Mm-hmm. And, you know, what's our take on it now? So, yeah. you know, Destruction Bay, how, does, how do you think about it now after driving those other three? I think outside of just a couple of small sections, this was a piece of cake compared to the other ones. Yeah. I mean, if if you were to rank them one through four, and one being the most difficult and four being the easiest, easiest, I would say Destruction Bay is the easiest. Yeah, I think so too. The thing we can appreciate is that Alaska gets a bad rap for their roads. They do. And some are, some are bad. Yeah. But what's really cool about Alaska is that they've built these roads to allow you to get to these exactly. remote wilderness areas. And it's not easy building these yeah. roads. They have to bring in, so everything is built up on gravel. I mean, and we're not talking just a couple of inches. It's feet and tens and 20, 30 feet of gravel. Yeah, so we can really appreciate the, the effort and yeah. the, the mindset of getting those roads to that wilderness yes. area, so which is really nice and lets people like us experience it. Right. Uh, everyone talks about uh, Destruction Bay and the frost heaves, uh, the, the sinkholes, the potholes and such, but there's other factors as well on, uh, the, on Destruction Bay, and this goes for almost any road, but Destruction Bay in particular, is the conditions. Mm-hmm. You've got drivers that are driving too fast. Yes. You know? Yes. You've got dust that pops up in during these construction areas, mm-hmm. and that can lead to issues if people aren't careful. Yeah, visibility. Yeah. An interesting trip, but, but we're here, and we're going to head further south and, and enjoying it. Mm-hmm. At Congdon Creek Campground, we're going to pay for our night and find the kiosk here. And Yukon... Uh, campground system is actually pretty nice.
A little longer stop than what we originally thought at Congdon Creek. Yeah. We were talking that that's one of the most visited places we've been to, and it's up in the Yukon. In eight years. <laughs> we've been here three times now. Yeah, we normally, except for just a couple places, we normally don't visit a lot of places multiple times. No. So it's, it's funny that this is in the Yukon, and yeah. this is one of our most visited. But it's a really nice campground, and they have a brand new area now. Oh, and, yeah. Um, Yukon's done a great job of yeah. upfitting all their campgrounds. And the new sites are huge. We saw two big motor homes and sharing a site last night. So. Yeah. But yeah. this was, I like it. It was nice. It's, it's nice right on the lake, mm -hmm. and it's uh, nice views, mm -hmm. and uh, still a little hazy, but uh, yeah. it's a nice area. And it's hard to beat the free firewood. Oh, I know. <laughs> We definitely took advantage of that last night. Yes, definitely. So short travel day today. Mm -hmm. We're gonna finally make it yeah. to Kathleen Lake, which is part of Kluwani National Park. Yeah. And we're gonna stay there for a few days before we head to Haynes. Haynes Road, Highway 3. We're at half a tank, which <laughs> is fine. Because uh, we're gonna run our generator a little bit but mm -hmm. it is downhill to Haynes. I was thinking about fuel but I don't know, half a tank and it's Canada. <laughs> yeah. It's Canada just prices more expensive, yeah. So continue on this road. I think we'll be okay. Miles. <laughs> That's why I don't ask your opinion. Well, usually I'm all for always topping off, but fuel's just really expensive here, so. Even with the exchange rate. Yeah. Yeah. We are here. Yes. Do they have availability? No, we're actually here early. It's right at 11 o'clock. Yes. How'd that happen? I didn't set the clocks back, so <laughs> that's how it happened. <laughs> Are so good. Gates are open. <laughs> so Kathleen Lake is part of Kluane National Park, which is Canada. And everything is first come, first serve. Even for National Park? Even for the National Park, yeah. Uh, they're all back in. I've read where they're pretty decent sites, pretty good size. And there's about 38 of them. Mm -hmm. So... I'm hoping that since it's a Thursday and it's 11 a.m. That everyone's left. I'm hoping everyone is left. It's not a holiday, so, you know, I hope there's room for us. And if you ask if I have a backup plan, I really don't. Except for the pull-off that we yeah, passed by the river. like a mile by the yeah, river. That, so that was actually pretty nice. Yeah, that one may not be a bad idea. And it's free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is nice. And look at the sites. And they have free firewood, too. Nice. Nice. I'm liking the campgrounds up in the Yukon. Yeah. Fireweed <laughs> is just really, really pretty here. Yeah, it's uh, really oh, nice. wow. Look at this site. It's nice and wide. Someone's already delivered firewood. Oh, there's a tag on it. Is there really? Oh, there's sure. Let me go check out and look at it. Yeah. Because people aren't real good about... Um, Taking their tags. No. What's today's date? Uh, today is the 27th. Okay, because that said 26 one night. Oh, yeah. So that's open. So that's open. Yeah. All these other sites. Everything's open. Yeah. Nice. Woo! Star! So no matter where we go, our first day, we can get out and look and explore a little bit. Not just for the campsite, but also the area where we're spending the mm -hmm. night, Kathleen Lake, that's no different. Uh, we've got a nice campsite mm -hmm. and we're going to have a campfire tonight. Oh, yeah. Um, this afternoon. Yeah, beautiful day. And Kathleen Lake is 
gorgeous. gorgeous. Oh, and the water's so clear. Very clear. It's still cold. Yeah, very cold. But it's really clear. Yeah, we're thinking maybe you run a kayak, but it's too cold. It's kind of cold for that. So, But we're getting out. We're riding our bikes a little bit, see, kind of get the layout, walking along the lake shore here mm -hmm. and just checking it out. It's beautiful scenery, mm -hmm. though. Really gorgeous. When we hike to the point... But I think the point keeps going because that's where we started. And that's where our bikes are. Yeah, it's not so pointy, it's more <laughs> curvy. Yeah, definitely more curvy. But it's really uh, pretty out here. And every time you, you keep walking another 50 meters since we're in Canada, mm -hmm. it keeps revealing more of the lake, which is really... Uh, very nice. And did I mention that it's just really clear cold. and cold? So used to that glacial fed that we've been seeing the last week or so. This water, really nice. All right, well, last time we threw rocks on a lake, it was frozen. <laughs> That's true. That's true. This one we're trying to skip. We were skipping pretty good on the other one, too. They were bouncing. They weren't <laughs> skipping. <laughs> they were sliding and bouncing off the ice. Uh-oh. Sorry. Oh, that looks nice. like a golden eagle there. Yeah. Wildlife. Woo-hoo. All right. That was nice. Okay. Back to the skipping. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want to skip it. <laughs> <laughs> That was a nice fluid segue, huh? <laughs> wow, like 10 bounces. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was very good. I may do a slow-mo on that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That'd be cool, actually. Uh, the decision of a fork in the trail. <laughs> Not much of a decision. This one heads down to the lake. Oh, there it is. A nice little, I can't even say a hike. It was a walk. But it takes us to the lake. And we're going to see what it's like in the morning. Yes, it is morning. Sandra was excited about that. All right, we just got back from our hike, and as we like to do sometimes, oh. we like to chillax <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and take it easy after the hike. Mm -hmm. But we're sitting out here and really not bothered by mosquitoes because we got this lavender yeah. stuff. And it's not greasy because DEET is really greasy. And we got this at the uh, lavender farm, the Harvest House that we stayed yeah, at. Yeah, last... last Summer year last, last summer you know, like, yeah we camped there and yeah. they showed us the whole process but i was skeptical i was too but it works nice and especially after hike we don't smell as bad either. exactly <laughs> it's great it's almost like refreshing you know yeah. but our our daughter is into essential oils so big time yeah so we kind of had some doubts it was like a little voodoo magic kind of <laughs> thing but... jordan <laughs> <laughs> oh sorry yeah but this stuff works pretty good yeah. I almost forgot. Uh, we had a couple of viewers that actually mentioned stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, that had a whole concoction and everything. So, We're going to um, try that out too. Yeah, so thank you guys. And yeah. um, this stuff actually does a good job. Okay, what do you want to show me? All right. So we had our bike fall off on the Denali Highway. Mm -hmm. yep. You had and to that, remind me that. <laughs> and that nice guy let us know about yes, it. Yes, that was yeah. very nice. So I was looking to see why... You know, why did these snaps, why did this snap? Because this holds the tires on. The Velcro strip, place. it just tore it, broke. Yeah, Both yeah. of them. Both of them, so that was just kind of weird. And I was looking at this, and you'll notice the angle here, it's got one bend in it, mm -hmm. and that's it. If you look at this one, it's got a couple <gasps> of bends. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's like an S-curve. Yeah. Wow, so this is this so curve because, here is not even supposed to be there. Yeah. And look. 
Yeah, and so because of that angle, this other bend in oh it, my gosh. this has come out more than this. But you can see the difference in the angle. <gasps> wow. This is rated for the RV, but there's very few bike racks that are rated for the RV. For the rear of the RV, this one's rated for that. But I guess I needed to get the Alcan rating. We've got this absolutely gorgeous spot here at Kathleen Lake National Campground national park in yukon and look at that setting i mean that's just really nice lots of room really nice and we're in the middle of the woods yep and we got starlink starlink going. so it's uh it's gotten a little bit of a bad rap from a few uh yeah. we've had starlink through canada alaska up to prudhoe yeah, we're, we're on day I think 85 or 90 yeah. right now. And there's only been one or two. I've put it up every single day. Right. There's only been one or two days where it's been, I'll say, sketchy. But it's always worked. It's always worked, but there's been a couple of days where it was a little sketchy. In and out, yeah. But most of the time, it's been relatively consistent. It has. Enough for me to upload videos. And yeah. We have chats with our daughter. All the time. Jordan yeah. and I are boujoing all the time, FaceTime. So even though we're in the forest uh, and we didn't plan this, but there is mm -hmm. a gap and that's exactly well, where it's going. Well, the Starlink almost always points up. <laughs> yes, here in the upper north. Yeah. So yeah, but we're in Canada right now so, and uh, yeah. it's doing good. So, Super grateful for Starlink. Yes. It hasn't failed us yet. No complaints. Whoa! <laughs> okay, I'm glad I'm way over here. <laughs> well, this is <laughs> well, this is our last tonight, and we're enjoying our last campfire for our stay. And as you can see, <laughs> David's chopping some wood, and but not for us. We're he's chopping it, and we're going to leave that split wood for the campers who are coming in next behind us. We always like to pay it forward whenever we can. So the sun's going down. It's uh, really enjoying our last night and evening in the campground. Um, there's a, a certain peacefulness in this campground, but also a certain energy in any campground. Mm -hmm. uh, people chopping wood, starting a fire. Cooking uh, the, bacon. The wind blowing through the trees. It's just really cool. Yeah. And uh, this is a really nice one. So a couple things as we are making our way to Haines, not Haines Junction, but Haines, Alaska, is the first thing is this is a really pretty valley and drive. It is. And we don't remember it. At all. At all. From the last time not, we were here. Not a bit. <laughs> now, I remember the lack of trees. Mm -hmm. But, and, and sort of a valley. But I didn't remember it being this scenic. Yeah. Now, it's maybe gorgeous. it's because it's a gorgeous day and there's no real clouds. That's true. Because <laughs> the last time it might have been socked in. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing that's kind of funny is Sandra's pulling the window down, up and down quite a bit because there's a lot of scenic views. Mm -hmm. Well, she has to watch it when she puts the window <laughs> back up because her hair might get caught. I got my hair caught. My hair is blown yeah. out the window yeah. and he rolled the window up and I got caught. So that's something I can't relate to though. <laughs> no. Not at all. I can roll that window up and I can have my head right next to it. Yeah, I don't have to worry about my hair getting caught. Sometimes on our trip up here in Alaska, you just have to stop. These views are incredible and how we did not remember this drive the last time going down to Haines I have no idea it is just spectacular I overuse this word a lot but wow
started in the Yukon, went through British Columbia. I don't know where the heck I am, but I think <laughs> we're getting ready to get back into the United States again. Yes. So that means a border crossing. Mm -hmm. That means border crossing protocol. Yep. Which is sunglasses off. Sunglasses off. Passports out. Yep. And turn off the engine. Yes. And purge all the bad stuff out of the refrigerator. Yeah. Well, that's actually already been done. We have gone six days with no produce. No green stuff. No green stuff. You know, I almost went out there and started munching on the grass the other day. <laughs> We miss our green stuff. Well, actually, I that's a lie. There was some mold on the... No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I did, so, because I'm a prepper, I brought, I bought a 10, was it a 10, number 10 can of freeze-dried broccoli. Oh, so yeah. that can's about gone. <laughs> yeah. So that's been our green stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So we're getting close to the border here, uh -huh. about a mile or so. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully, so far, knock on wood, yeah. everything has gone well for us mm -hmm. the last uh, two, two trips three. up yeah. to Alaska. Yeah, so So we'll they've see. never wanted to inspect us, so we'll see. Mm -hmm. It's uh, always an adventure. Yes, it is. Yes. Oh, this is nice. Look at the border people housing. Good for them. Of course, they're... We just passed the Canadian border and we have the U.S. border. So where are these guys? These guys are no man's land. They are. So are we officially in the U.S. or are we in Canada? I think we're in the twilight zone. <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of which. Yeah, welcome to the United States. Okay. okay. And, now, and we're in a new time zone. Yes, so Alaska instead of 1.30, it's 12.30. 12 Yes. Which means we got up an hour earlier than we needed to. No, means we're just going to pull into the park perfectly. No, we could have slept in another hour. No, this oh, is perfect timing. All right, so we, we made, made it. it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, so in, uh, it was funny. So when he walked around, we pulled up, stopped. And I turned off the engine. Right when he was getting ready to ask. Ask us to turn off the engine, so he liked that. Yeah. Uh, I think we're his new best buddy now. <laughs> <laughs> so the questions they asked us uh, was not anything about firearms. Mm. It was, did we buy oh, anything? That's right. in, yeah. Did we buy what anything we in, buy Canada? in Canada? Do we have any poultry? Do we have any uh, food items like uh, produce yeah. that we bought in Canada? Yeah. How long did we stay in Canada? Mm -hmm. Did we buy anything that we want to tell him about in Canada? <laughs> hmm. No. Well, I'm not okay. sure what that would be, well, but it's probably want... green yeah. and has a C in the beginning of it. I'm just guessing. What do you mean? Cannabis. Oh. <laughs> Well, okay. I have to deal with this like every day. Well, there was nothing to buy in Canada between... We didn't what, see any towns. Between Toke and here. There's nothing. Well, Haynes Junction, but we didn't stop there. No, we didn't even see it. We just kept going. Yeah. We have arrived at our destination on the right. We have arrived. I feel like so with it. I remember this. I remember this right here. Yeah, I don't know why I remember this entrance, but I do. Yeah. Their grass is not looking real green right no, now. No, it is not. Last time we were here, it was like really green. Lush green. Yes. So. Alright, so while you're checking in, I can try and unhook. And, uh, yeah. And then we check out laundry. We're going to do a few errands and chores today mm -hmm. so we can play tomorrow play tomorrow i'm gonna wash the rig and the jeep mm -hmm. and get fuel sounds good yeah well i didn't get very far in hooking the jeep i got no, you didn't <laughs> i had to actually do most of it one of our viewers spotted us his name's david from pennsylvania yeah. hey david hey dave so in haynes just for a couple of days uh, we're gonna get some things done before uh we head to Wrangell, sort of prepping, because uh, we're going to be doing a lot of boondocking, about two weeks uh, over in Wrangell. But we had talked to the people at the campground, and they told us that there might be some bears 
uh, out here at the uh, stream. So we're going to go check it out and see if we can find some bears. Came to look for bears. I think we found them. Yeah, they were so cute. <laughs> yeah, mom and a couple of cubs. Uh huh. So they were uh, just running down the uh, river here looking for fish and. She's getting closer. She's right there. Can we fish it over there? She's right there. Yep. Yeah, there's about five angles over there. I'll get out. <laughs> the backpacks of the fishermen and. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> People started to scatter, so it was uh, that was pretty cool. That was pretty neat to see them. What's next? Yeah, we left uh, the Haynes Hitch Up RV Park and we're actually going on a cruise. It's a ferry. 